Hello, my name is Jim, Jim Maurice, and I want to welcome you to Jim Maurice Farms. I'm going to tell you how to pick a Christmas tree. When you arrive here, what we do is we give you a tag like this, and you guys can go out and choose your own Christmas tree from the thousands that we grow. Now, this side here shows us the price per foot, and we sell our trees by the foot. On this side, it shows you our pick your own rules. And our fields are set up like the game Battleship, so it goes. Uh, alphabetically and it goes numerically. So as we go out in the field, I will tell you how to uh, select a tree that you'd like. Okay, the first variety that we have for choose and cut are Fraser fir, one of the best trees available. They grow okay in New Jersey. Uh, we also bring some Fraser fir in for free cuts. One of the best things about a Fraser is the long-lasting time that the needles will stay on. And they're very fragrant and they have a nice bluish silver color underneath. And um, just a nice traditional type of tree. Uh, we think it's one of the best uh, that you can buy. It lasts generally for a month or more. And um, just an all-around good tree. And then our next variety we're going to show you will be a uh, con color. The best variety that grows in New Jersey that I feel is a con collar. It has a nice blue color to it, soft, long needles, retains its needles well, probably will last for a month after you cut it. Um, it's a little difficult to prune for me as a grower, but as the consumer, I feel it's one of the best trees that you can buy. The next variety that we grow here at the farm Douglas fir. A little shorter needle than a con color. Retains the needles fairly well. Probably lasts you about three weeks once you cut it. Uh, fairly good odor. Uh, it's probably the most common tree grown in New Jersey and elsewhere. Uh, you see a lot of them come from Pennsylvania or West Coast. Uh, nice full tree. Um, not real, real sturdy for ornaments, uh, but it does support ornaments really well. But it's a nice full tree as you see here. And uh, you guys you can see here, if you look at the needles, um, you know, it, it goes way back in, so, so the needles uh, go all the way back really to the trunk of the tree, so you have a nice full tree. And uh, we kind of call it the Chevrolet of Christmas trees, it does everything well. The next variety that we grow on the farm, if you guys have animals and you uh, have problems with animals climbing the trees, these are Colorado blue spruce, they have very sharp needles, and uh, it's good to decorate them. Gloves, but they are a beautiful tree. They have a blue color to them, very strong for holding uh, all kinds of ornaments. And a slow growing tree, but it doesn't matter to you guys because you're going to choose to cut it. Um, but it is a very nice tree and it lasts uh, a long time. And it is good for animal lovers. Dogs won't like it either. It's not because of the smell, but it's just because of very sharp needles. Here we have Norway spruce. Uh, as you look at it, this is a short needle, uh, but a very strong tree. It looks very traditional. If you remember Christmases from when uh, we were kids, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, uh, this is a very traditional tree. Uh, it does not hold its needles as well as the other varieties, but it's still a good tree. It probably lasts you two to three weeks. Um, a lot more open and uh, just a strong tree when it comes to uh, whole decorations and lights. Uh, just something I didn't tell you guys about before our tagging system. I showed you the orange tag which basically is a locator. We talked about the game Battleship. Uh, this one happens to be I-6. So if somebody comes out here and this happens to be your tree and by some coincidence this tag blows off um, and somebody else would like to take it before my men cut it they must check in on our registration which is a book that has these tags registered in there. So basically there's no way that somebody can seal this tree once you tag it. And that's one of the, the good things about tagging a tree early is that we can almost 99.9% .9 of the time guarantee that your tree is going to be here when you come back. A lot of people like to tag early, uh, the day after Thanksgiving or a week, uh, the week after Thanksgiving. And by doing that, the tree stays fresh, stays on the root, and you guys can come back anytime up till uh, December 23rd. And uh, again, this is a Norway, and uh, hopefully you guys will come on out and shop, and uh, we have thousands of trees to choose from. If you don't like any that we grow, uh, we also bring in Fraser's and Douglas fir uh, from our
from other areas of the country, and, uh, and, and actually bigger. We, grow, we, we buy some bigger trees in that uh, might fit your needs. Merry Christmas and uh, see you soon.